here we're looking at a plant in the family Taxaceae in the genus Taxus and we're just going to look at the genus for this particular plant. So SPP would be how we refer to that. This is U, Y-E-W. Let's take a look at some of the closer features that can help you identify it. The bark of the U can come in these peeling pieces here and then have a really nice coloration as it moves through. This coloration tends to improve or get more striking as the tree ages. Looking closely at the needles, you can see that they are singly attached. They're flat. They do come to a bit of a point at the very end. Tend to have a very nice dark green color on the top side and on the underside a lighter sort of yellow green. And if you look really closely, you can see that that light green is separated into different lines. Those again would be stomata. The twig itself is also very flexible in wood so you can bend this all the way back and forward and back down without breaking the twig. While this particular tree or shrub does not have any fruit on it, the fruit is a red a rill, so it's a red fleshy part with a seed on the inside. It's important to note that most of the yew is poisonous, including the seed, and should not be eaten or ingested. There are many different types of yew species that can be found all over the world. There are species that are native just to North America, but there are species native to Europe and Asia as well. The yews have found many, many uses. Native peoples have used them for medicinal purposes as well as their wood qualities. Yew has a very strong but flexible wood, making it ideal for certain purposes. Many of the yews you will encounter in an urban landscape will be formed for their shrub or formed as shrubs, and they might take this type of appearance. No single stem and more of a bush or shrub-like appearance. However, if you encounter yews in a natural setting, you might see that yews that are more tree-formed, meaning they have a single trunk and branch out. But this is, what we're looking at here is more typical for an urban form.